Awesome CDs. What we do is we give them out for free. 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 F R E E. Free. free. They don't have to pay for free. it. You just gotta take it, listen to it. If you like it, then come to our show, buy a t shirt, support the band. We'll, we'll take the friends. We're gonna take the first step. And we're gonna take a chance on you that you might like our music. And then all we ask is you do the same thing, give us a chance to listen to it. That's how we promote. And it's worked out well. Some of your most memorable moments for Vietnam. Getting off the plane and having about a thousand people screaming for us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We are uh, yeah. having a. It was, it was our Beatles moment. Getting off the plane and having oh, yeah. like crazy pandemonium for us. We had to have like 14 foot soldiers walk us to the car. And <laughs> then we had these crazy girls on scooters with frequency five stickers yeah. plastered on the scooter. About the police motorcade. Following us. <laughs> oh, yes. Right. And the police motorcade. It was, it was bad. I just want to go back to you saying 14 foot soldiers. It sounds like they were yeah. giant. The 14 foot <laughs> soldiers. Uh -huh. I know what you meant. This place but 14 <laughs> space actual foot soldiers. Foot soldiers. I, I think <laughs> seeing us on a 50 foot <laughs> billboard, and I say 50 foot, like, yes. you know, you think about it like, oh, he's not Tack really literal. 50 foot with man. No, it was 50 it feet was tall. Five, I was 50 oh, feet tall. And I'm not a big guy, so for me, that's a, that's a very big accomplishment. How did yeah. you build a fan base, you know? Oh, my goodness. I guess it uh, it doesn't hurt that I'm Vietnamese. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's part of it. Well, no, in, in all honesty, you know, we, uh, we toured schools around there. We uh, helped kids learn English by learning our songs. It was amazing. Stay in school, I mean, kids. Seriously. Yeah, it was all based on school tour. And it didn't hurt that MTV Asia was playing our video. Yeah, you know. Over there, so. MTV Asia is pretty awesome. We got too. a nice fan base over there, and then we got some promoters to fly us over there to do some shows, and it's been a lot of fun. And uh, I think we're making a return this summer. Are you guys currently working on anything right now? We're working on a lot of things. Such as? We're shooting a music video for one of our songs coming up. Can't tell you which one. This is the whole album. <laughs> one of those. I promise it won't be one that's not on the okay. And uh, we have some shows coming up. We're hoping to do more shows and we're working on um, always making new music, you know, to like soundtracks and things like that. You said that you directed the Brooklyn Hip Hop. How do you feel about I always had a passion for making videos. I directed our last video called The Perfect Girl. Um, it was in the movie Hell of Modern Cinderella Tale. Okay. 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 Netflix. I just kept doing it. It is on Netflix. Just 
work it around that um, I told people they need to get you to <laughs> Our sound guy we worked with, you, Brooklyn's manager, they asked me if I'd do a video for her. So sure, and I started now. I just directed a video for, uh, for Eric Dill, formerly of the Quick Five, so that will be coming out soon. You guys performed at the Jingle Ball in December. What was that like? Amazing. So it was a lot of fun. A lot of energy. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it really was. We had a great long day out there. The I mean, it's cool. Like our stuff is like we love like doing what we do, but we try not to chase any trends. But we have a mainstream sound. Sometimes we were, we end up on radio and festival shows where. Lady Gaga is performing and we are worth it, you know? And our fans may not be her fans, but it gives us a great chance to kind of like share fans for a day. So what are some of your short-term and long-term goals as the band, before the band? Our short-term goal is to um, just kind of gain one fan at a time, whether we go, whether we're promoting or doing a show or an interview or online. We're really accessible. Just go on our Facebook. Come talk to us. We want to be your friend. We want to give you free music. Our long-term goals are to fulfill our short-term goals. Yeah, it's good. Many times over. Yes. High fives to every fan. Our long-term that is. We want to high five every fan with two hands. High ten. High five one at a time. Yeah. Maybe together. I don't know. Long-term goals. Oh man. Lots of touring, touring, lots of music making, music making, lots of music video making, music video making, lots of world record, worldwide breaking. peace, worldwide peace, and then meta world peace, and then well that know, one I mean uh, it's, it's love to have the fans on board to help. It's all about lit sanity. <laughs> Long term goals, lit sanity. That's it. <laughs> and um, touring with the Wonder Years. Yes. Watch the Wonder Years. We're ready to do a show for you. We'll We're coming for you. peanuts. Here are the soupy. Right. Soupy. I'm gonna interview you! Please, gonna interview for you. We will do an acoustic set with one string. It'll be like very non invasive. <laughs> you guys said that you give your music out for free, so how do you afford to make new music at many music videos? We don't. <laughs> we don't. Well, I'll be honest with you, this is how it works. We spend a lot of money, we do the videos, we do the music, we give it out for free. Because we believe that what we got is gonna be something somebody else. It's worth something to say. Going back to those long-term goals, you know, you know not a bunch of money. So we don't make we don't make money off CD sales because we're gonna give it to you going to share it. We make money off t-shirts and tickets. Yeah. We're in the t-shirts and tickets business. Yeah. We don't care about CD not sales. CD. Merchandise is where CDs. almost any income is at. You know, merchandise and playing shows, CD sales, you'd have to be an idiot to and be that's to make how money. you make a CDs, but don't you dare counterfeit our charge. When did you guys realize that you wanted to do music? Oh man. I realized that about 10 minutes ago when we turned the camera on. Like, I need yeah. to do something. How do I get interviewed? What's going on? What's the, what's the moment that, like, you realize consciousness when you're in the room? Like, <laughs> right? I don't know. If there is, it would be that. Yeah. So what do you guys do outside of music? Oh, pizza. Drive around delivery. I play video games and watch Power Rangers. I take care of my dog, eat a lot, and play games. I take care of my cat and play video games. And I, oh! <laughs> video games! <laughs> We're a bunch of nerds. We just I pretend like I'm a musician, but I do that out all times. Yes. <laughs> also like There's not much life outside of music, to be honest. Like, that you want future fans to know about you. Um, that we love them all. Future fans, we want you to know that we're coming for you. We one are at going a time. to get you your fan one at a time. Yes, we will receive you to fan be yet. our fan. We'll find a way to make it. That's right. When we're hot, you will keep us. We're cool. never going to charge for a CD. Ever. Ever. We're never charge for a What did he just say? Never? Never. Never. But if you want to pay for a meal, maybe in a hotel room for yes. us so we don't have to sleep in the van. Do you guys have any upcoming events coming up? Upcoming events. Well, we have nothing scheduled as of right now. We will be doing a show soon. Go to our Facebook, forward slash Frequency 5. Facebook. We are Frequency 5, and you're watching. Watch the daily tune-in. Daily tune-in? Tune you should change the hourly tune-in. Because I go on there every hour. Every hour. Every hour you gotta log on. The Force the H. Hourly tune-in. <laughs> like hourly tune-in.